What's good YouTube, it's your boy Toto here, and today I'm playing on my ultimate adventurer hero. So today on my hero, I'm going to be doing some monster park, and I got some empress equips on my hero, so now the damage is going to be a bit higher, and it looks a bit cooler, because I like the way empress equips look. So today I want to talk about a new huge update that was announced at the Maple Story First Festival in Korea. This update is called Maple Story Red, and it's supposed to get to KMS in the summer of 2013, which is this summer. So basically what Maple Story Red is, it's an acronym for Revolution, Evolution, and Delight, and it's going to be a really big update. Now there are many awesome things that I want to talk about in this update, so the first thing I'm going to talk about from this update is, once again, they're going to be revamping classes. So Nexon said that they're going to revamp Nova, Resistance, Heroes, Cygnus, Knights, and Adventurers, and they're all going to be really balanced and good, and that Adventurers are going to get completely revamped, and they're going to have a storyline now so it's probably going to tie into the black mage storyline that's going on with the rest of the characters so all the characters will be united in one storyline and it seems like maple story is finally changing the slogan from maple story it's your story to maple story the story of the black mage so i'm interested in these revamps as usual i'd love to see what's going to come out of them and what the new overpowered class is going to be and maybe they'll finally do it right this time and make sure everything is completely balanced and there isn't really one overpowered class. I'd really like to see a Maple Story where all the classes are balanced and they all have their own pros and cons and they're just really good and balanced together. Another new thing they're going to be adding in Maple Story Red is the free advancement system. I'm not really sure what this is, but basically what they're saying about this free advancement system is they're saying that you could advance to any class you want freely without restrictions. So what I think they mean by this is they're going to be bringing out all the characters again, so you'll be able to create anything you want. I don't think it's gonna be like oh you could be a dual blader and then you could just choose one day you want to be a bow master on that same account because that would be kind of like rebirths and private servers and that would definitely break the game a lot it's definitely not something good to have in the real maple story there's also talk about a new thing called the happy recovery system which is going to help users that were hacked in maple story and it's apparently going to be a lot better than the old system and you'll actually be able to recover what you once had when you get hacked and apparently there will be improvements to the report feature and reinforce security so hopefully that means a lot less botters and hackers everywhere since it's really annoying to see those botters and hackers just running around freely now for the evolution part of the game Nexon also has a whole bunch of new features added first off and this thing I really like is Nexon saying there will be equal fun for users who play the game for free and for users that pay cash. So that's something the game definitely needs right now. Right now in MapleStory, whoever pays the most money definitely will have a huge advantage over those who don't. You could buy double EXP cards, you could just buy cubes to increase your damage, and it's just really unbalanced. So you could get an equal playing experience without spending a whole bunch of money. Another thing they're going to be adding is an auction house and I've seen a screenshot of it and right now it looks to be like the old maple trading system so this is gonna be pretty cool it's definitely gonna make merchanting much easier and it seems like something that many MMO RPGs have right now so it's definitely gonna be bringing maple story up to date with other games and I'm sure many of you will enjoy this new auction house and for the delight part of the update Nexon says they're gonna be adding a new continent new hunting grounds and more content so that's gonna be really cool a new continent and hopefully the new hunting grounds will be really good exp for higher leveled characters because right now there's loads of places to train at low levels but it gets very linear at the high levels and especially in KMS, since they don't have stronghold or lionheart castle to give party play exp it's very hard to train at those levels and hopefully the new hunting grounds make it much easier to train at higher levels also according to Spado, a Maple Story blogger, and you can find his blog at spado.wordpress.com. He thinks that this new continent is going to be the Masteria continent that GMS already has, but hopefully they'll revamp it. Now, the reason why he thinks that it'll be Masteria is because that Korean Maple Story they said that Masteria is the continent where demons come from. By demon, they mean Demon Slayer and Demon Avenger. So that could be pretty cool, seeing some Demon Slayer, Demon Avenger backstory in. Masteria. They're also going to be bringing 
player versus player back with a brand new mode that lets you fight a big boss monster controlled by another player. This might be interesting, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out, and hopefully they bring back the old player versus player system that they had back in the chaos patch, because that was pretty balanced, it didn't really matter how much funding you had, it was basically about skill, so I really hope they bring that kind of PvP back. Also, one really awesome thing that they're going to be adding is an area where characters from all worlds can meet up together. So that means people from like any world can meet up with characters from any other world. So for instance, I play in Broa. If you guys wanted to meet me, you'd have to make a character in Broa to like meet me in MapleStory. But with this new area, we could just all go there and we could meet each other even if you play in like Scania or Windia or Bera or something. So that's going to be really awesome and I can see many cool things coming from that. And boss monsters are also going to be updated. Nexon says that they're going to update boss monsters drops to be much stronger than they were before and that's something I really think is needed right now because once unlimited update comes out they're going to be buffing up the bosses even more so they're going to be much harder to kill but they're going to give the same rewards so what's the point of killing a much harder version of a boss for the same rewards that you could get now? So hopefully they buff these rewards up to make them very good and actually rewarding to kill these much stronger bosses. And Nexon ended their festival with a giant V on their display screen. Since V is the Roman numeral for 5, I'm going to say this means 5th job is going to be coming out soon because now that you could get to level 250, it seems like you really need to be able to advance to 5th job. It would definitely add more to the game and it would give much more of a reason to actually try to level up to level 250. So yeah, that's a lot of new stuff coming out from this new MapleStory Red patch and I can't wait to see what happens when it finally comes out in the Korean MapleStory versions. So I'd like to know what you guys think is the best part of this new update. Leave your comments in the comments section below. So that's about it for this video guys thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe see you guys next time